paper by a certain date, or to win that one sports competition. But this pressure is unhealthy. And so I ask this, what does one do to get rid of it? I believe that the best way to relieve this pressure is by going outdoors, and for me specifically, by fishing. Now you may be asking, why fishing? Fishing because it's just you, the rod, the dirt, the water, and hopefully a fish. <laughs> it has a calming effect. You are sitting on the banks of a slow-moving river or the shores of a lake with waves gently lapping at your feet. It is a solitary activity, but a contemplated one. Gives one time to think back on the past, think of the present, and think forward to the future. <laughs> Fishing also teaches patience. When you are waiting for a bite, there is nothing you can do to rush it. Fact, if you do try and rush it, it will take longer than not, normal. In addition to teaching patience, fishing also rewards it. After waiting however long, you are hopefully rewarded with a bite. Even if it is just a nibble and nothing comes of it, I still get a sense <coughs> of excitement and anticipation I cannot usually find elsewhere when stressing out about the math test next week or the English paper I should have turned in two days ago. <laughs> in addition to relaxing, fishing also provides, for me at least, a feeling of self-reliance. When fishing, you are fishing for yourself. You are, in effect, finding and cleaning your own food, if you so choose. One is completely reliant on oneself. I know I'm not supposed to preach, but I encourage you. Drag yourself away from the stress and pressure of today's world and go outside and do something, instead of staying cooped up all day in front of your computer screens. I'd like to finish this quote by John Buchan. The charm of fishing is that is the pursuit of what is elusive but attainable, a perpetual series of occasions for hope. edition for Chamber Choir this morning, which was great. Uh, if there's anyone else out there who has any interest in Chamber Choir, I'd love to hear from you today. You do not have to have been in choir. I see people pointing at Jupiter. <laughs> you do not have to have been in choir to audition for Chamber Choir. So if you're out there and you're hiding from me, come on around. But let me know today because we need to get this handled because there's a big scheduling task ahead of us. I would like to thank the many volunteers who were bright and chipper at a very dark time in the morning when you arrived in the parking lot to go to the Booster Marathon. Um, your help was greatly appreciated. It was loads of fun. I hope many more of you join us next year. I'd like to thank our parent drivers. Um, all of you who volunteered for the aid station down the coast, you need to go into your resume and Naviance and put in nine hours. I'll take care of the verification for you. Those of you who were our student leaders, you need to also answer the reflection questions, those three of you, um, about your service learning. Those who volunteered at the 5K registration, thank you as well, and thank you to the parents who volunteered with that. We hope to do that again next year, so um, keep that in mind if you are interested in doing that. And I will take care of it verification for that too. Good morning. Um, tomorrow we are going to be welcoming our first, um, our for the first time, our new 8th and ninth graders that will be joining us next year. They'll be here for their information session and placement testing, which you all remember. So, if you could please do your work jobs um, today. Uh, we'd like the campus to be nice as their parents are wandering around looking at things while they're waiting for their kids to finish their tests, okay? So, work jobs, everybody, today. Thanks. Those of you who need help still figuring out what you want to do for this current year of service learning, I'm talking to the ninth and 10th graders who are in here and if there are any juniors, um, please come by my office within the next few, within the next week, 
and I will help you go through haiku and find something that you will enjoy doing. So I just wanted to say a few words about appreciation. A couple of words, thank you, not very difficult to pronounce or to say, but sometimes we um, overlook their, their importance. This week was Teacher Appreciation Week, and we would like to recognize all the wonderful work and energy that goes into teaching at York School. Uh, it's my opinion and the opinion of many others here that all adults on campus, it doesn't matter the job responsibility or the title, all adults at York School are teachers. We all care about you. We are interested in providing you with exceptional learning experiences and we want you to be happy and inspired and, and prepared. So we would just like to recognize all the wonderful teaching that takes place and also to say thank you to all the students who spent time, whether it was saying something in person, writing a card, providing food, uh, for recognizing that the adults at York School are people, they are professionals, they are personable, and they are passionate about being here and creating this wonderful community with you and for you. So let's just uh, take a couple seconds to say thank you and recognize all the wonderful teaching that happens at York School every day. Please be there. 